the F chord. One of the biggest hurdles for new guitar players. This is the first bar chord most players learn, and even though you're only barring two strings, it's still a bar chord. I quit guitar twice when I was younger, and the first time it was because of this F chord. So if you're feeling frustrated, don't worry, you're not alone. Keep working at it, you'll get it. In this video, I'm gonna show you some strategies for mastering the F chord. Here's the F chord we're working toward. Third finger on string four, fret three. Second finger on st string three, fret two. And first finger is barring at the first fret, strings one and two. Now there's no law that says you have to play every single note of that chord. If all you get is these three notes, and maybe the first string is clunky, that's okay, it still sounds pretty good. Now that doesn't mean you stop trying to get all four strings to sound, but you can get away with those three notes for now. So when an F chord appears in your music, do the best you can. If all you can get is those three notes right now, that's perfectly okay. Sometimes you can play an F major seven in place of the F chord. The F major seven is harmonically more complex, but ironically, it's easier to play than your F chord. It's really just the F chord, but instead of barring strings one and two, you put your first finger on the second string and play the first string open. It's an easy chord and it's kind of pretty. A lot of times the F major seven sounds good and sometimes you really do need the F chord. It really depends on the song. So while you're getting away with the three note F or the F major seven, keep working toward that true F chord. Now let's talk about that F chord. The first thing we're gonna do is play it up the neck. This is a movable chord shape. And most people find it easier to play bar chords higher up the fretboard where there's less string tension. So we're gonna move it up to the fifth fret. This is really an A chord, but that doesn't matter. What we're working on is the shape and we're eventually gonna work it back down to the first fret. The first thing I wanna talk about is the position of your first finger, the one that's doing the barring. Try moving it slightly up or slightly down, and you may notice that when I'm playing the F chord, I'm actually playing three strings. That may seem counterintuitive, but just for me personally, that puts my fingers in just the right position to get all the notes I need from that F chord. Now let's talk about the angle of your first finger, the one that's doing the barring. Instead of playing on the very front of your finger, you might find it helpful to roll it a bit so you're playing on this side of your finger, the side that's closest to your thumb. I'll exaggerate here. So this is the front of your finger. This is more on the side of my finger. And don't forget you should also be pushing from the back of the neck with your thumb. The reason you might wanna favor the side of your finger is that the front of your finger is a little squishier, and if you roll your finger more toward the side, you're gonna hit more bone, and you'll be barring those two strings with a harder surface. Now, don't try playing on the very, very edge of your finger. That's gonna be a little too difficult. Just try to favor the side a little bit instead of playing directly on the front. And if you have trouble rolling your finger, digging your elbow into your ribs might get you a better angle. As you work on this F chord, try building it finger by finger. First play just the finger one string, strings one and two. Try to get both of them to ring clearly. Then keep finger one in place, add finger two. Try to get those three strings to ring clearly. And then add your next finger. Finger three, see if you can get them all to ring clearly. You can also try building the F chord from the bottom up. Put fingers two and three down. 
make sure those two strings are ringing clearly, and then add finger one. Now eventually you want to be able to place all your fingers down at once, but building this chord finger by finger is a really good way of figuring out what adjustments you need to make. And once you can play this chord shape at the fifth fret, it's time to move it down the neck. So start at the fifth fret, work it down fret by fret until you reach the first fret, strum each chord slowly to make sure each string is ringing. And if you have trouble somewhere, you know, back it up. Whatever string you have trouble on, stop on that string for a while because the, the tension does get higher as you work your way toward the first fret. Practice moving the shape up and down the neck for a few weeks to develop hand strength and muscle memory. It's not going to happen overnight, but if you keep working at it, this F chord is going to feel just as natural as any other chord. If you're looking for a structured way to learn guitar chords, check out my Rhythm Guitar Book 2, which focuses on open chords, strumming, and finger style patterns. And if you already have a bunch of chords under your fingers and you're ready to start moving up the neck, check out my book, First Movable Guitar Chords, or I've got a video for you called First Movable Guitar Chords. I'll leave links for all of that in the description. That's all for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time with more guitar tips.